if that seven-year-old can tell you that that's a trending chart. Hey, it's Walter here, and you're at the Think Profit Podcast, where we're going to help you develop a rock-solid trading confidence and avoid the potentially endless cycle of system switching. Right, Hugh? That's right. We're going to help you develop a wealth mindset, develop a trading strategy that fits your core personality, and help you overcome the obstacles that stop over 90% of traders. All right, Hugh. Sounds good. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. Hey, Walter, something I learned early on was that the crowd is usually wrong. You know, there are a lot of books about this, and I think I was kind of wired to do that naturally. I'm kind of like go against the crowd or whatever. But I want to hear your thoughts on mass psychology, psychology of crowds, and how you use that in trading. Yeah, so uh, I think you're right, by the way, that like the, your approach, I think a lot of people watching this, a lot of traders, I think, are contrarian by nature, and they're drawn yeah. to trading that way. Yeah. I do think, however, there are certain asset classes so if you're a futures trader, if you're a currency trader, if you trade CFDs, which are illegal in the US, but like in England or Australia or New Zealand or whatever, you can trade them, you probably have some contrarian bent, probably. If you are investing in real estate, if you're investing in shares or stocks, there's a chance that you're the other side, that you're more of a social proof. So everyone should look up social proof. That's the cognitive bias you want to pay attention to when it comes to this. I saw somebody the other day, I think it was on Twitter, they posted a thing and I don't know who she was. I think she was like some actress or something or mm -hmm. reality star. I, I literally don't know who she was, but apparently she was famous. And it was a video, this guy, she was talking about how like stocks were going to rally and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she was clearly not like that wasn't her that's not her game, right? Yeah. And the guy was like, that's it. S&P 500 has reached the top because so-and-so is claiming that it's going to go, you know, <laughs> further or whatever. And so he was making the contrarian point, you know, which is, which is what I like to do. And so one of the things that you can do, and sometimes people fight me on this, but I would encourage you to look at the data. The easiest way to look at the data is to get an account at Awanda. Uh, we can put the link in the show notes. And at Awanda, you will have access to their, their tools. They have really cool tools there. And you can map out the open position ratio, which is just a fancy way of saying the percentage of traders long or short a currency pair. And you can map that against the actual price. And you can go back at least a year, probably even further. I think you can zoom out further. Anyway, and what you will notice is a very interesting phenomenon, which is as more and more traders sell the euro USD, for example, selling euros, buying USD, as more and more traders as a percentage, like when that gets really high, like 70, 75, 80%, what you will notice is that the euro USD will tend to go up. Don't shoot me for it. I'm just the messenger, right? I'm just telling you, this is a very valuable tool. Is it foolproof? No. Is it, is it always that case? No. All I'm saying is that if you have two things, if you have a chart that you look at and it looks like it's trending and you say, hmm, and you can bring over your seven-year-old and point to the chart and say, hey, you know, put it on line chart. Is it going mostly up or mostly down or is it just going up and down, up and down? Hey there, I hope you're finding this episode useful. I just wanted to let you know that Walter and I give away something valuable every month that helps traders improve their skills. You can enter to win by simply leaving an iTunes review and leaving a comment on our YouTube videos. At the end of each month, we'll look at the comments and reviews from the month and we'll pick a winner at random. Each comment and each review counts for one entry during the month that it's submitted. So if you're interested in that, be sure to enter after this podcast is over. All right, back to the episode. If that seven-year-old can tell you that that's a trending chart and the open position ratios are flipped, so if the euro USD is going up, making higher highs, higher lows, and the open position ratio shows you that 70, 75, 80% of the traders are selling the euro USD, that's a pretty strong trend. Mm -hmm. And I would count on that trend breaking through resistance and to keep going higher. And of course, the opposite is, is true as well. Now, so what you want to do is find a good broker that has these. The best one I found is IG Markets. They have a big chunk of the retail market. These are retail traders. They're not funds. They're not pros. They're you and, you know, the people that we're trying to take money from, right? Mm -hmm. Our fellow retail <laughs> traders, right? Those are the traders that you'll see at Awanda, Saxo Bank, IG markets. There's lots of them out there. I think even daily FX or, you know, certain news websites. I don't know if FX street does it. I don't think it's retail traders. I think it's their experts or something. They're, yeah, they're yeah. by. So yeah. yeah. So yeah. So that's what I, that's what I like to use. And so that's a contrarian point of view. We don't move the market. We're very small. Retail traders are a very small part percentage of the, 
of the currency markets and our broker is really participating in the real market and we're uh, sort of trading a, like, a, like a, an image of it. You, I think using the crowd as a gauge for the strength of trend can be very valuable. And so that's one way to do it. Just look at the open position ratios and, and look up social proof, look up all the cognitive biases, see how those are. And social proof is the one that really, which is basically this idea, if, if it works for everyone else, it should work for me. If my uncle keeps flipping double wide trailers in Alabama, I can flip <laughs> but double wide trailers in Alabama or whatever, you know. Um, my friend keeps buying Apple and Tesla stock, you know, I should do the same thing sort of thing. It, it's that social proof. And so that's what makes a trend happen and that's what makes a, a bubble happen and that's what sooner or later there's no more like the cra- like there's no more fuel right if everyone's flipping double wide trailers in alabama pretty soon there's no one left right yeah. there's no more buyers like everyone's you know so you just have to be aware of that and so that's one thing i would encourage you to look at it's an empirical question which is do open position ratios tend to be inversely correlated with the trend uh, the movement of the market and the answer is a clear yes and like I said, don't take my word for it. Have a look yourself. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've tried looking at the um, commitment of traders in the futures market. That really didn't work yeah. for me. Have you looked at that? Yeah, that's interesting. I, I was actually hoping you'd bring that up. For me, the problem is it didn't come out. I think it comes out weekly. Yeah. Last I checked, it was weekly. So what Hugh's talking about is different. That's the pros, right? And that's futures. We're in spot retail Forex. It's a little bit of a different market, right? But I think that could be useful if you were like long-term position trading, maybe like, Mm. you know, weekly charts or something, or maybe some sort of daily. I haven't, yeah, I haven't been able to make that work either. I have to admit though, I, I didn't have high hopes for it because it didn't give me enough data. You know, if I go to IG markets, every 10 minutes, they're going to refresh the open position ratios. If mm, I go to true. Awanda, every 15 minutes, they're going to refresh the data. So it's a little bit better data. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Otherwise the, the COT is just too lagging. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, Walter. Thank you. All information in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and is not trading or investment advice.